This is the only video that you are going to need to watch on the draw of liquidity. Not only the draw of liquidity, but it's also the only video that you're going to need to watch about liquidity in general. So overall, if you are struggling with liquidity or if you don't even know what liquidity is, then this is definitely the video for you. I have literally just passed my funded challenge. I am now funded again with True Forex funds, um, as you can see right here. So what I'm saying is really the truth and liquidity is one of the most important things when it comes to trading. If you don't know what liquidity is, if you don't know how liquidity works, then you are really missing out and you need to know how liquidity works and most importantly, you need to know what liquidity is. So first of all, all liquidity is and what I mean by liquidity is just where buy stops and sell stops are resting in the market okay so what I mean by that is let's say we have a the area right here for example let's just use a swing high right here all liquidity is is just there will be stop losses resting above this zone here now I'm going to go into more detail about it but just to give you a very brief idea of what liquidity is before we start the video all liquidity is is just where buy stops and sell stops are resting in the market okay so realistically the market will not be able to move if there wasn't liquidity um, because there needs to be liquidity there needs to be people losing in the market for people to be winning in the market okay remember every time that you lose a trade in the market it means that somebody else is making money in the market um, so if you can figure out where the liquidity is and where the draw of liquidity is and all that is is just where price action wants to go next because there's lots of liquidity there, okay? So there are three types of liquidity. The first type of liquidity that we are going to be talking about is swing highs and swing lows, okay? Um, so let's say we have price action like this, <laughs> okay? Um, we have this, imagine that these lines are all candle candlesticks, okay? So we have this here. This would be called buy side liquidity, okay? Now, the reason why this would be buy side liquidity is because it is a swing high, okay? So this here is a swing high. So just imagine that you're looking at a chart, and if you don't know what a swing high is, all it is is just the highest, most recent point in the market uh, where prices went up to before coming back down again. So this is our buy side liquidity mark. Um, so then you might be wondering, okay, where is sell side liquidity? So we have sell side liquidity here. And the reason why we have sell side liquidity here is because this is a swing low. Now you might be wondering, okay, so liquidity is everywhere in the market. And that is correct. Liquidity is literally everywhere in the market. Now, the higher the time frame that you are finding these liquidity points, then the better that the liquidity is and the more relevant the liquidity is, okay? So what we will label this, we will label this sell side liquidity, okay? So this is a sell side liquidity and this is buy side liquidity. Now what you could also call um, this liquidity right here is internal liquidity. Now what I mean by internal liquidity is this, it could be called internal liquidity right here because there is another swing low below that that is not more important but more prominent let's say more dominant so right here as you can see this is buy side liquidity because there is no internal liquidity because this is the only highest point okay we don't have this would have been buy side liquidity right here okay because it was a swing high but as you can see, prices came up and swept that liquidity, okay? So that's buy side liquidity, that's sell side liquidity. And this is a perfect example of um, swing highs and swing lows. So, okay, so this is the first type of liquidity. And actually, right here would be internal buy side liquidity that hasn't been swept yet. So... Let me just correct myself. This is internal buy side liquidity. So uh, if you ever hear me say internal buy side liquidity, it's just the point before the main swing high or swing low. Okay, so there's our main swing low. There's our main swing high. Then inside of that, we have these internal swing highs and internal swing lows. Um, but it was all important and it is all liquidity. Okay, so moving on to the next type of liquidity, we have equal highs and equal 
So moving on to equal highs and equal low liquidity. Now it is pretty self-explanatory and this is my favorite type of liquidity. So let's say we are <clears throat> just going upwards and down or price could literally be doing whatever, okay? But equal highs or equal lows are when price comes to the exact same point in the market the same time. Okay, you can also have triple equal highs, you can have quadruple equal highs, but equal lows and equal highs are when the market comes to the same point more than once. Okay, so as you can see here, and it has to literally be to the tick. Now, this is my favorite type of liquidity, okay? Um, and the reason why this is my favorite type of liquidity is because I find that this liquidity works the best and works the most when trading if i see equal highs or equal lows and i want to target those equal highs or equal lows then that is a very good sign in my opinion so as you can see right here let's say the price comes to this point more than once at the ex exact same point without swiping the liquidity then that is what equal highs and equal lows are as soon as price comes down here and sweeps that liquidity then this is no longer equal lows and um yeah so and it's the same thing for equal highs so let's say price comes up and sweeps that buy side equal highs then that is the then that is sorry why did i just lag out then that is ex exact same so that is no longer equal highs <clears throat> then the last type of liquidity and the honestly the most le the least common type of liquidity is lower resistance liquidity runs okay so all this is is just trend line liquidity now trend line liquidity is extremely good but you just don't see it as much obviously not as much as the swing highs and not as much as the equal highs and equal lows now all trend line liquidity is or lower resistance liquidity run is exactly what it says it is when price action makes a trend line and then that, that means there is lots of liquidity resting below these points okay so there's lots of liquidity resting all down here and that is simply because all the retail traders are lunging every time price action is hitting these points in the market now let's go to some live examples okay um as you can see, this is price has literally just happened, okay? So we are going to use some perfect example of equal highs and equal lows. So using liquidity. As you can see, we have equal highs up here on the one minute time on the five minute time frame. Now remember what I said earlier, the higher the time frame, the better the equal highs are or any type of liquidity. So we have equal highs up there and we have our swing high up there we also have an internal liquidity here buy side liquidity there and then <coughs> our sell side liquidities have already been swept as you can see we had sell side liquidity right here we had sell side liquidity right here and we had sell side liquidity right here but as you can see every single sell side liquidity that we had from 8 30 has all been swept so with that information what can we do we can then think that if we get a reversal pattern, we have a very high chance that we would want to come up. And if we want to come up, where would our targets most likely be? Our first target would be this internal liquidity. And then our second and most obvious target is these equal highs. Remember what I said earlier about equal highs being my favorite. If you see equal highs in the market and your bias is in that direction, then I would always leave runners or or target the equal highs because they have a very high chance of hitting. So as you can see, we swept all the sell side liquidity. So the price, if we get see the opportunity, we have a very good chance of the price coming upwards. As you can see, we've inverse this fair value gap here. Um, we inverse this fair value gap here. So now price is just going to be drawn to the equal highs. And this is now live price section. As you can see, we took out the equal highs and now we have took out this swing high right here. So when looking for liquidity, try and look for equal highs. If you see equal highs, then that is a very good draw on liquidity. Um, obviously, it doesn't have to be hit all of the time, but I hope this video was useful and helping you understand what liquidity is.
So yeah, thank you for watching.